Welcome everyone. In this video we're going to examine just two species of tree from Australia's broad ethnobotanic landscape by taking a closer look at Acacia acuminata and Acacia obtusifolia. Acacia belongs to a large family of plants called Fabaceae, which contains over 740 genera and over 19,000 species. Plants in Fabaceae, which include herbs, shrubs and trees, are also known as legumes. Many Fabaceae, including Acacia, are known to have a symbiotic association with nitrogen-fixing soil bacteria. Some prominent Fabaceae you likely already know include the pea plant, the peanut plant, carob and soybean, and many, many more. There are over 1,300 species of acacia worldwide, with the majority found naturally occurring across Australia, but they play a prominent role in the country's botanical identity as the largest genus of flowering plant and as the national floral emblem, which is Acacia pycnantha. While bipinnate leaflets are considered acacia's true leaves, many Australian acacias have evolved to utilise flattened out or modified petioles, known as phyllodes, to perform the function of a leaf, with most of these species losing their true leaves in the early stages of development. Acacia acuminata is a shrub or tree, often multi-stemmed, that grows between 2 and 10 metres tall, usually in an obconic form, which is that of a cone shape. The botanical name is derived from the acuminate apex of the phyllode, whilst the common name, raspberry jam wattle, refers to the strong scent of raspberry jam produced from freshly cut wood. Widely distributed throughout southwest Western Australia, Acacia acuminata can be found in semi arid woodlands, shrublands on clay soils, and red sands, often near streams and granite outcrops. This species consists of three variants the typical, the narrow phyllode, and the small seed. The typical variant, as pictured, has narrowly elliptic phyllodes between 8 and 15 centimetres in length, the margins of which are lined with tiny hairs. Numerous fine veins run along the phyllode, mostly in parallel with some interconnecting and the mid nerve slightly more prominent. Spicate inflorescences or spike shaped clusters of flowers emerge from the phyllode axle featuring many tiny golden yellow formerous flowers, meaning each flower contains four sepals and petals. Pollinated flowers produce flat brown pods, or legumes, between 3 and 8 centimetres in length, and containing elliptic to ovate black-brown seeds between 2 and 4 millimetres. Acacia obtusifolia is a shrub or tree with an upright to spreading form. It grows between 1 and 20 metres in height and occurs in woodlands and granite ranges from eastern Victoria through eastern New South Wales and into southeastern Queensland. The botanical name is derived from the obtuse angle of the phyllode apex, which is between 90 and 180 degrees. The common name, blunt leaf wattle, refers to the broken or blunt tip often found on phyllodes and possibly the result of insect grazing. The phyllodes of Acacia obtusifolia are generally narrowly elliptic, but can also be broadly elliptic, between 12 and 25 centimetres in length, dark green and leathery. The phyllodes commonly contain two to five primary veins with anastomizing or interconnecting secondary veins, and while closely related to Acacia longifolia and sharing some similarities, Acacia obtusifolia can be easily distinguished by the red resinous phyllode margins. 
Spicate inflorescences of pale yellow formerous flowers are separated from the phyllode axle by a 5 to 10 millimeter peduncle. Flat brown pods with a slight curve between 5 to 15 centimeters in length produce narrowly elliptic black brown seeds of 4 to 6 millimeters. That concludes this introduction to acacia identification. I hope this video helps you to identify and appreciate acacias out in the field. See you out there.